Oh, already. That took forever. I feel like that took that took a while. But welcome back, everybody. We are going to do the report card today. My name is Zay. Yep. Chris, I, I thought. <laughs> no, nah, we watched. We watched the. What was that episode of That's a Raven? It was. That the, was the one where they were doing the road trip, but we never watched that. We never watched that one. No, we didn't watch that one. But we were imitating the one where they did the um, what's it called, the radio Wait, show. Wait, you're supposed to stay in front, so you appear bigger. Oh yeah, let me appear yeah. bigger here. But, but anyways, hello guys, welcome back. My name's Zay here. We've got Chris also here as well. We're gonna do the report card. Uh, yikes. I don't really know. Guys, oh. these were some great movies. One of the top tier movies, you know. One of um, the movies of all time. But, um, but no, as you can tell, let us know what you think of the background, of course. You know, we, we're, we're improving. We're improving. Bear with me. We're getting there. So, if you like the video game gameplay in the background, sorry, we're going to go with this for now. But if you, if you do, let us know. But what do we want to start with first? We got a TV show and we got two. We gotta do Mr. Mr. Smith. First. We gotta do Mr. And Mrs. Smith. The other two are probably gonna go rather quickly. Okay, yeah, <laughs> not just quickly. I think we have a lot more to say about them. That's on the negative side. Anyway, let's get across with our first, um, you know, our first like big series of the of the uh, of the year, really. Uh, but Mr. and Mrs. Smith. She's a um. She, she's the one that wow. Bored, bored by it already? Was it already <laughs> no. bored by it? No, but I'm trying not to sneeze. You good? But before we even started, Mr. and Mrs. Smith, she made me watch the movie. It's been just a, like mm-hmm. Donald and Maya have said, they don't really like. Or really, it was more Donald. That's his name, right? Yeah, Donald. Childish. Gambino. He uh, he has said he doesn't like remakes, and I was worried about it because Mr. Mrs. Smith is such a classic, and you know we've noticed now more and more people are doing classics over, and it's like you're ruining them. So where mm-hmm. it's like, okay, now I never want to watch it again. You kind of ruined the original for me as well, but they did a very good job, and it was and it was also going to be a little bit more interesting to me because I was like, I can't imagine that movie in the TV show, and so they they took a they took a different spin on it, so I liked it. Yeah, we yeah. To, she's sugarcoating it a little bit before we even started this. She was definitely like, oh, I don't know because of how it was in the beginning. I watched the first movie, really liked it, but I mean, what what did we give Mister and Mrs. Smith? We ended up giving it what? Yeah, what did we give it? We gave it an S, which I think is very surprising. There's not much yeah. that we really could find that was a problem with it. I think yeah. the first episode really established some people were saying that like when we saw in the critics and stuff they were saying mm-hmm. it had started off too slow it was too boring but i feel like they got kind of right into right it into right it. away into their missions only thing that i would harp on is i wish they did they now granted this is mr and mrs smith so i feel like mm-hmm. they focus more on the relationship aspect yep but i do feel like um a lot of people probably were so used to the action packs and the bombs and like how like Um, It was so, like, action-packed as opposed to how this one was where, like I said, it was focused more on the relationship. I do just wish it showed a little bit more of their missions just because it would have felt a little bit more like, um, you know, like they are spies. But that's okay. It was still executed well. Like, the first episode, I feel like, really got us into their... It was like a first date kind of for them. And then even um, we were kind of surprised. Of course, there's no spoilers here. But we were surprised by kind of how the first episode ended. And even after the first episode, we were thinking a lot about the decisions they made. You know, do you stay a little bit longer to talk to people? Do you not? You know, like, how much do you believe in the mission? The questions they were asking them. Just the relationship becoming something. Um, I'm glad they didn't rush into the love aspect or even the physical aspect of their relationship. Mm -hmm. Um, But a good trope that I think really put it over the top for us was, obviously, if you've watched the first movie of Mr. and Mrs. Smith, um, well, I keep saying first movie except there's another movie. If you watch the Mr. and Mrs. Smith movie, it opens up with them at therapy. This series waits a while to get into that. Yeah. But I think it, it's so interesting, the fact that people can criticize the action. The first like three or four episodes are like very action-packed, them on missions, doing what they need to do. The second half of the series, like... I had told him also, I had told him that a lot of people probably were going, once we found out that it was an all-woman writing room, oh. I feel like people wanted to shit on it solely for the fact that it was just women writing. Mm-hmm. And But Donald had said, he said, I appreciated that because we're always seeing it 
as from like a male's perspective of love mm -hmm. and like how things are so he was happy to have an all woman writing room kind of give that perspective just like how he had said in one of the interviews we had saw on YouTube he was just like the woman had asked him are you feeling this to men or are you feeling this to women and he goes well hopefully women because obviously he's a straight man so exactly it was just so that was that's why I feel like a lot of people wanted to rag on it already because the woman wanted to show more of the Mr. and Mrs. Smith not Mr. and Mrs. Smith the spies yeah. but more so the relationship how they grew about it and you know how the the um and it also showed a good um aspect of conflict a lot of people didn't like maya and um like i guess because she was mrs smith and they were like she's just kind of hard to like and things like that but it was also showing how different people are yeah and i had told him that because he had asked his friends his opinion on it and i had said i feel like a lot of people yeah. might not like the concept of it solely because of the fact we're pretty mature and we're older in our age but we're not whatever <laughs> we're older in our age. We're not. We're, we're not in our teens. So yeah, it's like that is true. I feel like a lot of people won't really get the aspect of it of like kind of give or take and yeah. also sacrifice. Whereas a lot of people now are kind of just like take, take, take. Yeah. Or what can you do for me? Exactly. Whereas like they both had to kind of figure it out. Like he was a certain way. She didn't like certain things. She was a certain way. He and didn't they like established it things. early. Yeah. Like we when we think of because now since you're really watching our first S, if you're wondering what does it take to get an S. After every episode, we found things that we liked. But seven, episode seven and on, like after the therapy session and on, it makes us look back at the first couple of episodes. Every single episode felt like it had substance to it. Like mm -hmm. beginning to end, everything they were saying, like there wasn't, and it, it builds wasn't, upon each other. it really builds up. So like little things you notice in the first couple of episodes, how they treat their missions, how they deal with missions, it comes up later. And then really, um, what really rounds it out is just like the the dialogue is at its the best. Dialogue. The dialogue, <laughs> the dialogue is at its best here. I think that one of the greatest conversations is when, is when they're arguing at camp. I think that was great. It felt real. It felt uncomfortable to hear. Mm -hmm. You know, obviously the therapy session is really great too. But even the ending, I think the ending really wraps itself out well. Um, we were really on the edge of us. It kind of it did something different in the ending in terms of how they, I guess, come together, or how they're able to work together as a team again after everything, different from the movie. It's the, that's the only time it felt like the movie or it felt like it was taking something from the movie and did it in its own way. But the very last couple of scenes, like, that's really strong. Like, it really had us on the edge they of our did, seat. Yeah, they did very well for a remake. Because, for a remake, yeah. Because, yeah, like I had said, it was, to me, I was like, oh, my gosh, what is this going to be about? Is this going to be super cringy? Is there... And also, you know, with both of them, because we like both of their previous projects, they're very good. Um, they have great chemistry. They have very, good, very chemistry. good chemistry to where it was like, it's believable that they're Mr. and Mrs. Smith because it's like you're thinking, oh, God. And then they also focus on a lot of minority tropes, too, that yes. we do not see. So that's another thing that we liked about it because it's like we always see, you know, like the heterosexual white relationships and how their life is. But it's like, no, let's look at it. Let's look at the Asian perspective. Let's look at an African-American And they weren't bashing it over your head. Like the comedy, like if, if you think that this is some, because we know nowadays people are like, oh, it seems like it's woke or, you know, they're trying to appeal to something like, it is a black man and an Asian woman who are great spies on their own or they're great in the area that they were for mm -hmm. what they were doing. They're put together. And of course, Donald makes some black jokes, you know, like if you've watched Atlanta, you know, he kind of has that quirkiness. And obviously we can't shut up about blue eyed samurai and Maya, you're just as great as a voice actress or you are as you are an actress here, you know, like you really show your true colors here. You know, like I said, the chemistry was great. Beginning to end, it was fun. I kind of wish there was some more episodes of it. Um, they could even mess around do another season if they wanted to. They kind of left mm -hmm. it as an ambiguous ending. Um, but definitely a great watch. One of the best series we've seen and was a surprise. And watch it with someone that... And, that's the, and it also showed a lot about... Couples need to watch it, I, for sure. I had, I had told him also, I was like, it's not even just about... Because, you know, relationships, everyone thinks of... Um, you know, your physical partner or like someone that you're going to like you're in love with, but also it helps with family relationships There was uh. family tropes in there. And then it also helps with just friendships in general. Like, you know, he was friends with some girl, but of course we're not going to spoil that exactly. for you, but it's just like, it, it shows a lot about relationships that mm -hmm. I feel like a lot of us have lost now, especially like with the younger generations and stuff and how to communicate um, about yeah. say, how to communicate, like those scenes in the beginning that really tell a lot, put him, I won't spoil anything, but I think one of my favorite scenes in the very beginning of the series was when he tries to put like a, God bless you. When he, <laughs> he finally got out, when she was, uh, that, that's so funny. Cause now I'm thinking about the show 
and how sneezing's in the show with that with that one uh act yeah. with that one spot. That's funny. But when Donald tries to put um an earpiece on Maya, and she's uh and she kind of like pulls away because she's not trusting of him. Like it's yeah. trust, it's jealousy, it's guilt a little bit. Like mm-hmm. I said, the family tropes. Like a lot of couples, even if you didn't even see the movie, if you just want a cool little show to watch. You'll learn something new from this and a also little bit. You can bit. learn a lot about how different people are because he was someone that a lot of people can, probably can relate to. Like, you know, um, he was more attached where she was very detached. So mm-hmm. it's like, you know, you can see different perspectives of things, why she is with the way she is with her family, you know, her culture, obviously, mm-hmm. of Asian culture. You know, she was different than him. And so they both had to, like I said, a lot of people nowadays, like I said, it's always about what's, what are you going to do for me? What's me, going yep. on with me, mm-hmm. me, me? But it's like, you know, it shows a lot of about relationships they had to just work. in general. Yeah, they, they had, had to, to work, work together. together. They so. actually had to. But it was great. It was really great. Like we said, Donald Donald and Maya, please do more stuff together. And um, and even your interviews. If, I mean, you can, t- you can tell by actors' interviews when they when they promote something that they have great chemistry. And, and they, they have been working on this since COVID. We didn't even yeah, know that. Yeah, and for something that came out of COVID, this was done pretty well. But as we always say... All it really takes is good writing, and that's what really hooked us and in the most. Chemistry, and good chemistry, good pacing, you know, mm-hmm. and, like, things that were recollected from, like he said, from the beginning to the end. It was nice. It wrapped itself up nicely. So a, lot of sh- a lot of things now will, like, try to throw something in there, and then we'll get to that actually in the, in the next one. <laughs> speaking, speaking of the next ones, because we really can't talk about Mrs. and Mrs. Smith all day. All our S's will be posted out alone because they are that great. Like I said, the one, the ones that we won't shut up about. That's the standard. If you want to know what we think of a great TV show, there you go. Yeah. With that being said, let's get to the movies. I don't know which one we want to do so first. So we are going to do oh. Isis. You're Isis? Do Isis? Isis? No, I Ice Spice. Spice. <laughs> um, I, honestly, I really don't even have much to say about ISS, guys. That's why I want to do it first. Yeah. Um, we saw ISS from here. Um, actually, no. We saw it in the theaters. Make some money. <laughs> Um, and we honestly canceled on it twice, and then third time was we the charm, and it was, hor- it, twice. it was horrible. The trailer, um, okay, let, let's establish a baseline for everything, right? Mainly, he wanted my, to see this, yes, I did, I not. did. Now, it was because it was, I thought, <laughs> I'm sorry, just astronaut, just laughing at astronaut. I thought, okay, it is a premise of the trailer, just pretty much told us it's the International Space Station, and there's a World War Three going on. Oh, there's a, just, just a World War going on on, on the Earth, right? Between Not even Russia, a World War. It was it's just a war. between just Russia and America. And, the, and, the, and America. The American astronauts come on the ship, and now they're sharing it with Russia, and they have to kind of take control of it. That seems, you know, new. It's different. It's different. Well, how much do we say we see things that are the same? This is what an original idea. We haven't seen it before. With that being said, oh, my goodness. This was... um. A complete F. Oh my God, this is a complete F. F. This was boring. We almost turned it off. Like, I pretty much was falling asleep halfway through. Let's establish what the plot itself. We just gave you the plot. Let's talk about the pacing and the timing of this. There Uh, was no plot. There was no plot really to this. I mean... He said what he got from the trailer. It was not like that at all when you see it. Nothing. Everything Mm -mm. seemed very rushed. Nothing made sense. I could hardly. This is nothing to Russian accents. I couldn't understand that. Couldn't understand that much, yeah. Because you know they they speak pretty fast, so it's just like okay. And then they have those, you know, uh, what is it like the the R's or V's or V's or R's and stuff like that. I don't know what you're saying, and then there's no dialogue. Like I don't know what's going on. I don't know the high stakes of it. I feel like to me, I had said it from the beginning. I said, okay, that seems kind of stupid to me. Because I'm sorry if I'm in a if I'm in space, if I'm on the ISS, mm-hmm. and then I see explosions below me, how do they even know? I'm sorry. How do they even know that the bombing is going on in Russia as well as in America? Okay, okay. let's let's just assume that ge- ge- you you know to be an astronaut, you know geography very well. You probably know what the layout of the Earth is from a space station. But let's just let's just let's just give them a bone and say, okay, they knew where that was. The tension. Everything you thought the movie would be, the Extremely tension loud. of... A, a very loud, very unnecessarily loud. Everything they focused on in the first 30 minutes, trying to put you in a perspective of Ariana DeBose's um, character. She's, she's on this ship for the first time. She's trying to learn something. It's like her first night in space. This failed completely because... We you, don't care. We I don't care know, enough I about... didn't know what they were talking exactly. about. Exactly. The, the relationship We're trying to build it. some connection yeah, together. Yeah, they're trying to build connection. It's like, okay, first of all, you guys are hardly speaking. I feel like the Russians are speaking to each other and the Americans are speaking to each other. Yeah. There's no type of... And it didn't set up anything. Array. Like, yeah. it wasn't... It, did, it didn't... 
when when she's going around this ship, like we were, we were. Of course, there's events later on in the movie where things happen with wires and and certain you know um, devices that they use. It only gets introduced later on. Establish it in the beginning. We were wanting them to show her around and say, "This is and where also, our cords are." And we're not astronauts, so I don't know what exactly. these wires are. I don't know what these not suits lie, are. Dumb it down a little bit more. For I, us, that's you what know? I'm saying. You need to say it in layman terms because it's like I don't know what these wires are. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what this rover is. I don't know what this arm is. Just, like, just I, put it I, quickly. I a quick little you're... montage of it. Don't, don't do a whole. Or you should have had throw whenever, it in there. Or what was easier? We had said they could have had Ariana literally come in and they show us these things that were going to come up later. Exactly. They didn't. They just had Fantasies. her come in and open liquor. Like, I'm so confused. Yeah, and they, she didn't, she didn't, they didn't make her look like an intelligent astronaut who was picked to do this mission. It yeah. looked like, okay, let's, let's insert also, protagonist what, here what because of reasons. What to the last person? Are you just brand new? Do That's they what need I'm extra, saying. Do they there need should be, if, if you're going to do exposition, do some exposition. Of course, you know, they did the whole black screen and then they showed some words on it. It showed some words to kind of establish it. If you're going to do that, go full on. Like do, do a whole little two, three minute montage building up to this, this is the ISS. This life never needed to be made. It didn't really need to be made. Um, what else really failed? Uh, ultimately, I said there was this, no tension. There was no, no tension, tension at all. It's like, like I said, I didn't even like it from the trailer. He wanted to see it, so we went and saw it. But literally, there was no tension. I didn't care. Like I said, there's never going to be tension if I don't care about any of the Astro characters. And astronauts I, fighting I in space, looks, ladies and gentlemen, it looks as it looks much worse, much more ridiculous than you thought it would. This did make me appreciate movies that are on the ground. This made me appreciate some other movies that we ragged on, like Night Swim, or maybe. You know, like some. Well, we didn't really rag on nice one. We didn't really like a nice one, but uh, there's underwater. just underwater. I was about to say underwater. If you remember that one, we were kind of ragging on that one because, but at least that one, at least it tried establishing the characters. Like, oh, they're a crew. They're together. Yeah. This is like okay. These people well, are meeting funny. each other for the first these time. Girls, these people are in a relationship. Exactly. You know? Oh, oh and speaking then, of yeah, <laughs> speaking and of then there was a relationship oh. that literally just came out of nowhere. Literally out of nowhere. She just kissed him before. Which, like I said, don't watch this. I don't care if I'm spoiling it. Do not watch. Dude, this, this is, is such a waste of. Don't time. worry. Don't worry. There's gonna be a disclaimer warning. I'll put a huge. Don't watch this somewhere. It's not, or if you if you really want to watch it, but you don't want to be spoiled, there's nothing to spoil. A nigga gets flown out into space, pretty much, like for and no reason. For no reason. And the reason is, is because they're saying that something's wrong with the antenna. What antenna? Like that's what I'm saying. He we, we show don't, us. We don't know. Like, sh and then also it's like it's, he just went out there blind, and then all of a sudden they cut the communication. It's just like. But he's okay. the one who really untethered himself, so technically it's really his fault because you know damn well not to untether yourself. Then of course you know. Okay, I, okay, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Let's let let let's get to really what killed it, right? If it, really it was the moment when they were messaged from their from their individual countries. U.S. people were getting the message. Russia people were getting the message, and you could see it on their laptop saying, "Take over the ISS by any yeah. means necessary." This is when the movie died because after that they really acted like some kids sneaking around like oh what are they looking what are they planning for yeah. this is you adults you're professionals you're, yeah, just talk you're, I don't know why you assuming, can't have a conversation like, and then you guys are assuming so you want to be in this I'm, I I like I had said I was like if I'm in a spaceship I don't want to have dead bodies around me I don't want to have corpses around me I'd be like hey this is what our I mean you can take our, them out you can throw them out in this space is and that's what it our, I mean true that's, that's true no smell it's just like this is what our countries want us to do so how do you guys want to go about this do you guys want to set up head like to me, it's like there's there was no way of them fighting, in and they're space. not fighting over no anything. I, I, and then also this little these little rats that she had brought. Oh in. my god! No, the, 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 yeah, some mice. Wasted. That's why I had said when Mister Smith, everything came back and made sense. This made no sense. She had rats. She was doing these type of thyroid studies on them, and then it just they then died. the mice started the, the eating next, each other, yeah, trying they, to symbolize them. Beating. Having to attack each other because they're in the same space. That's what it was showing. But it was, but it was just no. stupid because you did it so fast to where it's okay. We saw rats. Then part of their limbs are 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 missing, and that's what it is. Like this I, felt this felt like a chat G. This felt like somebody chat GPT a movie space idea, and the studio greenlit it for that reason. It was very boring. Um, we wasted money going to see it in theaters, but. My fault, because like I said, I thought it was a decent premise. And it's been a while since we've seen a space movie that was good. Um, take plays for Interstellar, for Gravity, all those great space movies. I know it can be tough to shoot a space movie, but there, 
Space usually, Jam. Usually, usually Space Jam. Usually, we can see a movie within a bad movie, right? Like we can, you can see where they were going. Yeah, where the potential with this was. One. Yeah, not with this one. I this didn't care didn't about need any of the crew. Made. I didn't care. And like this guy, one of the guys that was actually in Underwater, kept talking about his, oh, his yeah. twins. His twins. I want to get back to my daughter. We don't know who we they are. We don't know. We don't. There's not even a picture. We, you don't even, even really think. have that many lines. We don't know who you are. <laughs> Damn. And then you guys are all doctors, but it's okay. It's weird. And then also it's okay. You guys were pretty much together. Um, two of the um, crewmates, one from Russia, one from... Then the man that was talking about his twins ended up bonking the Russian ab- uh, And the fighting, the y'all. The it was most, just stupid. It was The weird. most lackluster fighting scenes. Like, when I tell you, if you want a good laugh... Look at this. If you want a good laugh, wait until this is, like, for free on YouTube and just go to the end. And go watch them fight in in the little and chamber. It, was not it is so. It it's matter. not the music. Like I said, they the you have music to grab and the sound. Each other to do it. It's just floating weird. in the air, like it's lame. It's lame, and there's nothing. It's just like I said. It's an F. Don't watch it. It's not one of those. It's so funny. It's good. It's not one of those. Maybe I learned something. This this blew its load way too early. It did not boss. need to be major boss. But you get what I mean. If you understand, you understand. If you don't, it. It, it finished too quickly. It, 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 it didn't need love, to be made. If you do like it, we would love to know why oh, yeah, or what was Put it. Put in the comments um, what you liked about it. it. It was shot well. Maybe the cinematography. That's another thing. It didn't... They For them to be floating around most of the time, it never felt like the stakes were there because your movements are slower. And even if there's blood splurting, it's kind of floating in the air. Like It looks with, like bubbles. It looks, it looks like, like bubbles. Like, like It really I, does. Or and, big red. And I didn't believe your connections. But anyway, did get an F... Um, the actors could have done better, like we said. Ayana, you could have done better. Like I said, we didn't, we we couldn't hear, like we couldn't hear. Um, we, like I guess I couldn't understand the Russian men speak. I could understand the Russian lady. I could not understand the Russian men. Yeah. But also, the Russian lady was taking her time, kind of to deliver her lines. Kind of seemed to, she was she was probably the best actress on. I there would say she was the best because at least she was trying to deliver her line. She had like you know some pain because like the guy going out. It was just like I said, and then they were, and then also the Russians were hiding each other from, like they were hiding things from each other, just like the. Yeah, and I'm like, them, why do just, that? Make it if you're gonna do do it as a full. We take over the space station, cut cut it in it half. Needs to make, or, what they should have taken yeah. from is the first purge. You should have done it like that almost. Ah, that, that probably nice. would have. I mean, that now granted, nice a lot of people idea. there's there's controversy with the purge. Like well, I'm talking about the original first. The original one. first. It was one. well. It was more so well liked than not. But I'm just like have it kind of be like that to where it's okay. We're yes we're hiding but you know we're going to attack at these times we're, we're planning this if they walk over here they're going to get exploded something like that but it's like you also can't do too much in space because yeah. gravity and all these but wires you should have never even was, you should have shut off their communication from their countries and then just had them kind of like slow let let their minds kind of turn on each other a little bit you could have done that and then get a message of we're okay like i said and then there's some medicine to find over they don't even really explain this that much it's not a good film with that being said, it's not like we're going to get any better with talking about films because I'm going to let her introduce just what the hell we just saw a couple nights ago. Madam we Webb, ladies and gentlemen. We saw women on the big screen. Uh, what do we want to say nice about Madam Webb first? The ladies are beautiful. The ladies are beautiful. Anything else? Would we like the... Um, you know, they are all good actresses in their own rights. From, now, granted, I haven't seen the younger, the two other um, women besides Sydney and Dakota. I've seen them, obviously, on their own things. I haven't seen the other two women, even though that one, the um, black one, she did look like China. Like, she looked like China. Oh, my gosh. I literally can't get over that. Like, she looks like literally China. So, I'm bugging up the um, cast. China oh, McLean. Cast. But, anyways, um, it was, I was hoping. I was hoping because I'm always for women. I just don't know what we were doing. I really don't, but like I said, the, the ladies looked beautiful, and... What do we want to talk about first, really? Let's talk I'm about the villain. The villain. Thank you. <laughs> to Tahir... Bitch, oh. <laughs> Take that southern shit out of here. Anyway, Tahir Rahim, who plays Ezekiel in the movie, look, I don't know how many days you on set. And why I don't give know... him a biblical name? I don't, I don't understand. The editing... We 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 went to a movie theater in 2024 and saw a movie that was made that the lips were not lining up with what he was saying. 
And no, that was released. it was a voiceover. I told it was him a, in there. Bad I told, voiceover. I told him bad right away because he was like giving the premise of like his dream or whatever. And he was whispering into this woman's like ear. And I was like, oh, that's a voiceover. That's not even the same audio that was used. And, and it happened not just one. Now once, okay. You know, this maybe happened. something happened with the audio. This like, happened hey, we're not going to do the whole multiple scene times. Every time he was actually on the screen, besides maybe twice. It was like, it was like, were you even here? Were you, what, what happened? Now, he and was also, never threatening at all, at all whatsoever. He look like he never came look, across like a threat. I'm, I'm very confused as to why cinema nowadays is having these really tiny men that have on these vests that are too tight and acting like they are badasses. You are not scary. I'm taller than you. This is not scary. Damn. I mean, that that's nothing to short men. Short kings. Y'all still got to fight out But here. it's just, to me, it's always just like, these people are not intimidating. This is not... Dakota's taller than you. The ladies yeah. are taller than you. Oh, but it's but not, did he really need to be intimidating because he... Wanted let's, to let's, jump <laughs> around the house all the time barefoot. Actually, because it's so bad, major spoiler warning here in terms of what it is. If you came here to see... Sydney Sweeney and the, we're gonna give them, we're gonna give them the respect. I, I gotta name them. I gotta name them. I gotta give them the respect. And I'll call Ezekiel Zeke. I'll just call we'll him call that. him Ezekiel Zeke. I gotta give them the um, D- Sydney Sweeney, D- Dakota Johnson, Isabella Mercedes, and I'm trying. I'm trying to get her. I'm trying to get her other name. The black. Oh, and Emma. That was nice to see Emma Roberts. I love and, Emma. And um, and Celeste O'Connor. If you came to see them. In their costumes fighting, this it only happened. Movie. This is not the movie. It was Daddy. about two minutes, not even joking you. The first, what they used in the trailer did not work here. But you know what? As much as we want to take blame or say blame on the actors and everything like that, look, we can do that all day long. Let's blame Sony for going in the studio and going, we're going to put this out. The same studio that makes the PlayStation, same studio that gave us you know, the first Venom, let's not talk about the other one, the same one that gave us Spider-Verse and, and Spider-Man, you know, like the, the Into the Spider-Verse, the animated ones. What the hell were y'all thinking putting this out? Who, nobody really watched this movie back. Like, we gotta blame Sony. So we know that if you're just gonna blame women because it's a women's movie, no, we can't really do that, okay? Because Dakota didn't look happy doing any of this. Press tours, in the movie, she did not look engaged in this film. You can tell when an actor goes in and they're ch- and they're checking in just because they need to do it for the check you can tell all right i don't know if they told her oh you're gonna do a superhero movie and she thought she was gonna be like a wanda type but you know like really make a franchise out of this whatever the hell they were filming did not work out at all villain was terrible don't expect to see them really fighting um there's not much fighting in here by the way there's there not is, there there's is, not there. much action if there you, actually is none i don't think there's a I don't even think she really punches him to no, be dead there, honest no, with you. There's no, there's no, I don't no even fighting. think that happens. I think the only thing that happens is in his dream he falls, but that's once again hey, not good, fighting. Hey, she's, like she's good at hitting that nigga with a car. I'll tell you that. If you need somebody to drive oh. in and hit somebody with a car, Dakota Johnson's a good. She can do it in a taxi. She can do it in an ambulance. She can hit you with a car. Um, but yeah, she was babysitting most of the movie. Um, what else? She left. She left the girls. <laughs> multiple times and granted you know but you know what the oh girls, you left them twice the one y'all. thing i do feel like he i don't know if he'll agree or not but i do feel like they gave the girls backstories yes, authentically i will say you know they gave sydney's authentically celeste isabella isabella they gave yeah. all the, the, the three girls that you see in the trailers they do give them their backstories as to why they're alone but the problem with it because i was redirecting the whole thing when we were coming home redirecting it my god because Ooh. I was just like, they harped so much on Dakota not liking her mom to where it was like, okay, I don't, Dakota, I don't care. And so it's just like. We do not care. So to me, it's just like, I wanted, the thing why I wanted to see Madam Webb so bad because I wanted to see Sydney, Isabella, and Celeste. I wanted to see them fight him. Be I badasses. To, I wanted them to be the spider woman. Like, I wanted to see that. It's not that at all. At all. All you have is little glimpses of flashbacks and dreams of that he, he sees of them killing him. It's not even an origin story for the girls. Because even the scene she's talking about, I do, I do that's, the, that's one of the only things the film did. You know, I can't even say good. It did it. You know, it did it. It was like, let's just give them quick storylines. 
They don't, they don't have, if you're looking for them to have a montage where they figure out that they have the powers, doesn't happen. If you want them to even but get the costumes, another issue with that doesn't though, happen. The, unreal, the unrealism, or sorry, the unrealistic expectation of it is the girls' backstories. Now, granted, they all have different meanings, right? They all make sense, right? Mm -hmm. But to me, at the very end, they're all just living with, Dakota? Exactly. Where? And their decision making was terrible. Movies, we got to stop doing the... Tr Last time this work was in Fast and Furious. Y'all got to stop doing the whole, well, I'm just going to get this, this, this national security agency that can view you through your phones and your tablets. Yeah. And, and, and we can see... Look, government, FBI agent, hello, whoever the hell you are. We know y'all watching us. We don't need to put this baseline bullshit... In movies, because it didn't was, work at all. Also, the lady that was doing it came out of nowhere. Out of w w came out of nowhere. Literally, she was dropped in a some, scene. When he killed someone, it was like a two B movie. How worse than a two B movie? How were you dying that way? Now, granted, it is Never a neurotoxin. It is a neurotoxin and da 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 whatever. But I'm just confused as to the and nigga also, can kill you by a handshake. Apparently, also, holding we, hand to a big thing that he brought up when we were driving back. Why on? How are you this way? Granted, you took the you took the spider, right? How did you get these powers? How did you get this? Suit? Didn't show any. How of it. did you get your powers? Did you have to? Um, did you have to make them stronger? Or have you always been this strong? Then look at we, me. Look, look, then look, we found look at out me right this here. curse. Look at me right here. He opens up the movie complaining to her mom. Dakota, to her mom, Dakota's to Dakota's mom. mom. I don't even know what what was the what was Dakota's name in the Madam? movie. Something Webb. I, I don't know. Wait, wasn't it? What was her name? Carly? I don't even know. No. Webb. Let's just call Madam Webb. Madam yeah. Webb's mom, okay? All right? And he tells her, oh, because you had it easier than I had it growing up. Some random bullshit. That's why I'm mad. Blah, blah, bang. I'm going to shoot you. Take your spider. That's what happened. But then also, That's like, what happened. That's literally what rich, happened. He's supposed to be this rich man going into these Which Rich from what? It's, that's what I'm saying. It's like, where did you get your money Oil? from? Oil? Is it not, technology? It, it would have been different if he got rich because he sold the spider. No. And then he got the power. So he's like, I see the powers. I'm going to sell it onto the market. No. Or I'm going to have it in a None of that happened. expedition or um, or in like a museum. He just has a mansion. Exhibit, he just has a mansion. He brings over this woman from the from the National Actually, Security we Association. We We saw a bed. Honestly, and we saw a loft. Steps. We saw a loft. We saw an Airbnb that they needed for that time. We saw a studio apartment. Brings over an, a national security agency woman, has sex with her, has the random dream, and then, excuse me, and then afterwards, he's like, oh, just just holds on to her arm like this, starts turning black, and then she just dies. Like, th like this. Like this. And then he's like, oh, and then he just randomly has access to all of the National Security Association. And you would think, oh, the woman he just took over, she'll become like some spider minion. No. She's gone. Let's just bring another woman in. Randomly. Random. No, no connection. Yeah, no type of... Where'd Made you get her from? No sense. You know, where'd you get her from? Did you find her on the dark web? Did you call somebody to get her? Now, Nothing. let's talk about Ben Parker because I love this, okay? The spider... You know Ben Parker. Did you give my uncle a chance? <laughs> get shot up in Queens, right? This movie tried its best to go, oh, you know Spider-Man? You know Peter Parker? He's in here, kind of, a little bit. Emma. That was Emma. that was Emma. Emma was the one who was giving birth to Peter Parker in an alternate two thousand three dimension type shit. She didn't even know that the baby was Peter until after the movie was done. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. So get it. Sony, if you wanted to establish, ooh, cool, you, know, you know Peter's what? in here. She didn't notice it. The baby shower. The baby shower was a good scene. That was funny. That, that was. Good. was I that feel was like good. Dakota gave her best acting because she was like, "Hey, I'm gonna sit back and Mike not even Epps, useless." Oh, oh, yeah. What was that? I get to complain about it here. When you're establishing someone's power that they can, you know, rewind time, see the future, you know, that type of stuff, you know, show, show us once or twice. Don't show us four times in a row. Deadass took four different scenarios. It took damn near 40 minutes for her to realize she had powers. Meanwhile, you in the theater, you're like, damn, hurry it up. We, don't you know that you can what I see the say, future? That scene was horrible when Mike, Epps, pa when Mike oh. Epps passed away. <laughs> Because, first of all, we don't care about you, Mike Epps. We just saw you two minutes ago. Then you tell everyone to go because there's a fire somewhere. Okay, guys, when you get in a car wreck, you know, when we see car accidents, just like a wake, when we did a wake, car accident came out of nowhere, it was loud, it was intense, it was like, damn, then you're getting pushed over somewhere. 
this was a big cargo truck hitting another big ambulance. It kills him on impact when he's going no more than probably 15 soft. miles it was per a, hour. It was so soft. And know, then on top of granted, okay, we'll get we'll give him he died because of how the other truck the other truck they showed a they showed like a drone shot. Where was the other truck going? There's water on the other side. And exactly. Like a little, Where will you drive it to? Where's the and, driver? And where'd the driver go? Where's the driver? Was, so did he go to jail? Did why he run, couldn't did the he run driver? For it? Why couldn't the driver be like spider people? Why couldn't? Why, why, why couldn't, couldn't? Why couldn't the driver be the villain and be like, oh Dakota, like are you, I'm killing everybody again, around you. Once, yeah, it's just like, hmm? and then also how she was sad about it. Dakota, I'm sorry. I know that that was your like chief or whatever he was in terms of paramedics. You didn't want to go to his cookout. You didn't want to go to his cookout. Remember that? She, she was telling Ben, oh, I don't even want to go there and interact with him. You didn't want to hang yeah, out. She you didn't want to really gonna, chill with them. Them but million niggas, huh? Dakota? It's just, Not Dakota, but Madam Webb. We know. It was just know. weird. Like I said, and it was just like, and like I said, once again, shows, just like ISS, you're trying to make us feel like these relationships are so good. They and have like, no weight behind them. It's just like, we don't care. We don't. Like, we and do then not at all. also, um, Oh, you know what? I actually had a very down moment in the theater. Actually, I think he told me about it after. What was it? Okay. So I had thought, like, Ben, um, whenever he was talking to Dakota, I thought he was her ex. And, oh, oh, well, he was. She was. She was. I was right about that. So Ben Parker, that was his ex, right? Madam Webb is his ex. And Something they were like talking that, yeah. about, and they were talking about a new girl in his life. I thought the new girl was his sister, Emma Roberts. And when you I realize literally it's was May, like, it's and May I literally, Parker, the, yeah. I, I literally choked myself because I literally was like, well, why would you? I was like, how are you just not telling your ex about someone being serious when this girl is pregnant? But that's his sister. So. Yeah, that's why he's Uncle Ben. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But hey, Sony, we're going to blame Sony for confusing it. Um, what's the what's the other thing? Uh, obviously, she becomes blind at the end. And I don't know why. That was so funny. Uh, oh, oh, and if you, oh, and um, Pepsi, you got He's your money's worth. not saying being blind is funny. No, no, oh, no, I'm not saying canceled, being blind is funny. Canceled, canceled, we need to, canceled. <sighs> but you get what I mean. Um, she, her powers never looked special, really. Um, she, you know, the, the graphics, the, the CGI and the wasn't very good. probably never got his rent money. So. And he probably never got his rent money either. It, this was not done well. I really just wanted to see spider people kick some ass. And the fact that she literally left them not once, twice twice she left these and then women. i love how when she left the second time she was like i'll be back in a week or so dead ass she said this y'all she this left is, them this is the bad part about the girls what's babysitter ever? the girls literally you know you are being you've seen this man chase you you've seen this man try to kill you this lady has said this man is going to kill you she can see the future and you know she can see the future which mm -hmm. really they never even they never she had never her prove like prove it, prove to, it them. to them. Damn, that's um, lame. Yeah, exactly. Damn. So you didn't even really have her showcase her power to them that well. Plot's got a plot. But what also I didn't like is after showing um all of that. Damn, I forgot it. Damn. My bad. After showing all of that, it didn't really matter if she could even see the future or not. She didn't. She didn't convince me. She. How the hell is she going to convince these? random girls who happen to all be in the same place at the same time. Oh, oh come with me. I'm going to protect you. Okay, the, the girls, I got it back, guys. The girls, you already know this man is dangerous and that he's literally looking for you. Why are you peeking out the windows with your whole face out? Why are you dancing on tables in a diner knowing this man is dangerous, knowing this crazy woman came out of knowing nowhere, they have the technology life. to You've seen oh, this man climb on the walls. You've seen all of it. So why on earth... Why is he after us? Clearly, you trust this, trust this woman enough to be staying in the in the woods or the the whatever they were in the woods, I guess. Literally the woods. And then you go to a diner, and then it's also like you guys kind of blow up the fucking diner because why are you guys dancing on top of it? And it's like you know that this man is looking for you, and he has found you already on his own. Exactly, and that's without the random woman's help that has like like I said every single technological device that's that's there. And if and if you're thinking. Oh, you know, Madam Webb, she maybe has a conversation with Ezekiel. Maybe she looks a little badass and she's like, leave these girls. No, that does not happen. Literally, the Pepsi product placement killed this movie. And killed the also, movie's villain. A Pepsi sign killed him. I'm not even joking, though. That's that what happened. the came out of nowhere looking at the eye or whatever or looking at, like, all the cameras. Yeah. She 
to me, she never even feared him. Like, that, feared exactly. Him. She, she, didn't she never even... even feared him. She never, ever did. She was just like, oh, and then she goes, oh, I didn't know that they were teenagers. And then he goes, oh, it doesn't matter. Like, we need to stop them now before they go into adult. Yeah, like, it's, it's supposed to be something. They didn't even have her have an arc. They didn't even have her be like, I'm not going to do this. I'm turn gonna, on I'm him. I'm going to turn something. off the cameras. I'm going to lead him the wrong way when I know they're going this way. Like, it was they nothing. Really, they could have really done a girl power moment and been like, I'm going to help you women out because he's been mean to what? No, that's not it. Like, or have her come down and see them. I know you guys are, you guys need to leave. There's cameras everywhere. Motive, da, 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 da. Like, his motive was that he just didn't want to die by the hands of these women because he had visions of them every night. Once again, why are we having the same vision every single night? Didn't we just hear this bullshit with Five Nights at Freddy's? I'm having the same dream every night and yeah. I'm trying to figure it out. Nigga, get some help. All right, get some but help. But at least in Five get Nights at Freddy's, his was like, I'm trying to find different like ways to save mystery. my brother. Yeah, this to save my like, brother. This so you just keep dying and you just keep watching it again and again and you and haven't then you wonder, tried. And then you wonder why, okay, so instead of, instead of trying to find the girls, why don't you try to be a better person? But also it's like, we don't even know why you're bad. It, it, yeah, we, exactly. Like, you're just okay, yes, a dude. Yes, you, killed some, you did kill some people at the beginning, but it's also, okay, are you continuously doing that? How are you getting your money? What's your motive? Like, and that, yeah, exactly, What's how were you motive? getting your, how, how are you What's getting it? But it's it's still an F for us. This is a, this I is was rough, hoping, I was just hoping that, like, it's so bad, it it's would good. Just, yeah, I was just hoping, like, for the best, but it's like a woman-based movie, you know, with all women stars. So I was, well, of course, like, of course, uh, Ben Parker and, you know, the men that were in Nigga, it. Nigga, we didn't need to see Ben in this shit. Adam Scott didn't need to be in this movie. They did, and neither did Emma Roberts. Honestly, we'll see I you in Severance, Emma. though. We understand Adam. Um, it's just, like, even Emma, she didn't need to be in it. It's, like, I, I guess, you like, like, I didn't understand why, but I see why he said, he was, like, oh, because that's, you know, um, Aunt May and or that's not Aunt May, but it's Ben Parker, Aunt May is going to be, that's the serious one, Aunt May. I get it all now, but I really didn't care. Exactly. It wasn't, um, it didn't, and you could have used that time to not have him in it. Instead, you could have just established more of Dakota, but she said it when we walked out. She said, "Why if we weren't going to show the women getting their powers truly, why even have them in the movie at all? You could have just done a complete even, Madam Web movie with just her. And that's why I said, I said the girls were pretty much useless because all they were were just running around and getting caught. And they, then, oh, Madam, Madam, and no way. Exactly. It it's was baby, like, dead-ass it, babysitting It was just movie. like, to me, it's like it should have just been only about Madam Web stopping this man from like hurting maybe other people. You exactly. know, it's like the girls were not needed if you weren't going to show she them. She could have their... discovered them at the end. They could, you you could have even have had them already have their powers and then she just discovered, she just runs into them. And maybe they saved her and they're like, hi, what's your name or something And then at quick the montage end. of all of them. You already know how the story, like I said, Sony, how do you go from making the Spider-Verse movies where you have four or five different Spider-Man and you just go, here's a quick comic book opening. Here's my storyline. Let's get to it. But you can't do that with these three. You couldn't do that here. Hi, my name's, you know, I don't, I don't even know what their oh, names yeah. are. I don't even know what their powers are. You didn't even show it. You could have, you could have done so much so easily. You only showed like the black girl was an actual spider. She had spider, like she was able to climb up stuff like a spider the Hispanic girl, I believe she... I Did she have strength? I don't know what it was. I don't know. I, I, don't I think know she was agile was. or something. She was really and agile. Then and then Sydney's was... She had like glowing some, electricity light. I, I don't like, know. That kind of was like a rope almost. Kind of like Wonder Woman. Like, kind of like a Wonder Rope. Yeah. But and it was speaking, just energy. Yeah. And speaking of women... I mean, we walked out this theater, y'all. If, if you... This made me appreciate the Marvels a little bit more because that had to shove a lot of stuff in there with three different you know, actresses we've kind of seen and, you know. But also, Marvel, I, stop doing that. Me yeah. and you were talking about it at dinner. Stop doing all this homework stuff that we need to do. Yeah. There's no reason as to why we need to do that. Um, Just like, because I know personally for my family, they don't like having to be like, oh, I need to have Disney Plus so that I can watch this show and then I also need to have Amazon Prime for this show so that we can try to figure out, you know, what the... Exactly. Even though majority of them are on Disney Plus, you should not have that. You need to have, you need to place... Or you need to have placement in there to where it reflects on everyone else. Like, my mom had no idea what was going on. Not Endgame, but it was in something else. And she was like, I don't know what this means. A lot of the Thors are like that as well. Oh I don't, don't know what's going on. on last Thor movie. It don't matter. But even this universe, look, you could, I mean, eventually we're going to see a Tom Holland movie with Spider-Man and then Venom's going to show up. And if you haven't seen any of the Venom movies from Sony, you'll probably be like, who the fuck is this guy? And why, do, why does he, 
what, what, why, why is he winking at the camera like we're supposed to know him? Yeah, like, I is thought she Eddie going, Brock died in the Is first she going to show up? Like, is Madame Webb going to show up in the latest Spider-Man movie and be like, Peter, it's it's good to see you. It's like, no, it doesn't but make any sense. End, I'm sorry, like, this is not to, um, this is nothing towards, you know, people, um, I don't even think it's called people with disabilities anymore. It's people with restrictions or just, I, I don't know the correct term for it. Canceled, canceled because you don't know. But anyways, <laughs> just it's just like how they had her blind at the end was weird. It was like, once again, we I don't know what so happened. Forced. So she fell into the water and then she opened her eyes and she was blind. I guess I guess some light from the Pepsi. Remember, Pepsi is the enemy here. Pepsi it killed was the Ezekiel. Explosions. It was the explosion. I think some feet. light went through the water and she was like, ah, and I guess that was enough for her to get up. You should have had Ezekiel scratch your eyes out at that point. You should have had Ezekiel just straight up take the eyeballs out and be like, I got or your eyes now. Or put his hands on her eyes or something where exactly. they had the toxic. That would have been crazy if he would have put his hands on her face and then she lost her vision. There was only one good action part and I'm sorry to say, it was what when was Sydney it? passed I'm, away. I'm it was when Sydney got her neck broke. Oh, yeah. Sydney or was it the... It oh, was it was Sydney. on the train. Yeah, when he first was on the train. No, no. It was oh. when Sid, no, it was when when they were in the diner and Sydney got her neck snapped. Oh, that was... Her oh, name's yeah. Julia. Yeah, but... I remember uh, that. Because she was like, Julia, get back here. Julia, Julia. And Julia was not fucking listening. And yeah. Julia got snapped. If you like villains who walk around barefoot, randomly changing back That's into the costumes... That's what I The lady costumes. that was even looking, like, she did not... And also, I'm sorry, all the boys that were... Because it was like um like a track team or a football team or a basketball team. They were on the diner talking jocks. to this woman. Okay, I'm sorry. A car has flown in to the diner... No one saw the man coming in there and trying to kill them. Like, no, no one has seen this costume. man. No one has in a whole ass costume. No and then one he sees has this his, man. Then he then he he actively takes his mask off, and nobody has him on the. Oh oh, and now I can say this because I was thinking about it before. Tell me why in the this is two thousand three. Okay, two thousand three. Okay, they were saying after the train the train scene was like a little bit in the morning time evening maybe a actually afternoon right in the afternoon dakota saves them from the train incident where she can see them first getting killed then people are like oh uh, sydney ends up yelling out we're being kidnapped and they try to run with that little trope for a little bit oh, yeah. you know dakota kind of gets a little bit arrested but she doesn't because ezekiel kicks the cops ass we're pretty much telling the movie here why was later on in the evening they had a newspaper ad out of the kidnapping as it what like this wouldn't happen in 03 like we wouldn't be ha we wouldn't be flipping the papers that fast like what happened like we would we and it would just worry, be on the they news get rid of it later it, it would just get now if you hey if you're working the newspapers back in 03 and you're like well well you know they get the stories out quick fine whatever i don't really give a fuck to be quite frankly honest with you but it didn't make any sense because you could have done something cool oh they're all trying to go after her like I said, it's even born her. Sorry, it's even born her right now. How did you get on right an now. international flight after just being accused of kidnapping to Peru? That's what I'm saying. I'll be back in a week. I'll be back in a week. That was awful. It and was it really just, like, bad, y'all. Granted, it did like fast track her to Peru, but like we had said, if you're gonna have it be with these girls in it, why you, didn't we get to see their you powers? Know, I want to see them kick some ass. I want to see figure them. it out when the, when they're with Uncle have Ben. Have a training montage in Peru. Oh, okay. He's trying to see you guys in the U.S. in New York because he has all these technologies. Go to Peru. Go train them there. Go have a montage. Spend twenty to twenty five minutes of the film. Having her train them to be better, all them stronger learning. as well, and then have the spider people who were, you know, well, you know, she'll be back when she needs answers, uh, whatever. And then randomly, she ends up seeing her mom in a vision, and she's like, "You did it. You really did care I about love that me." That mama though, she said, "What else do you have to offer me besides tissue?" The mom was nice. The mom was chill, but she was just in and out of here, you know. Yeah. So overall, y'all. If you see a but trend, but also it's oh. just like, where did Zeke even come from, Ezekiel? Where did you come from? Because yes, you're on this expedition. Were you looking for the? I guess you were looking for the spider too. We don't know. He said that he's like, oh, I, I've been looking for the spider, spider for, for years. years. So where, how'd you end up getting with Dakota's mm -hmm. mom? Like I'm, I'm confused. Like so, did you just like kind of kill someone and be like, oh, I'm, I'm this person that you're supposed to be working with? Because she didn't even seem fond of him anyway. In the beginning, and of course he's a little red umbrella and trying to signify he's evil. It was all lame. This was lame, like we said. When was we there a blamed, red umbrella? In the very beginning, when he was, when he he brought out a red, he like brought out a red umbrella and put it over him, and he was like, oh, I forgot what his first line was, but it was it was like the first time we saw him. But like I said, there's very forgettable parts of this movie. Do please listen to us. It's not so bad that it's good. Do not waste money to see this movie. This isn't a movie that you can like. 
I, I think I heard it best. If you see this randomly on cable in a couple of years and you just flip it through channels and you want to laugh at something, sure. Sure. On oh, like FX. If, or on FX or something or 2B or something, sure. But do not sit down. If you want to get it as a prank gift on DVD for somebody, sure. Yeah, it's you like know? a nice little white elephant. It's a nice little white elephant gift. Hella good white elephant gift, you know? But do not sit down and watch this. This was not good. This shouldn't have been made. Like I said, yeah. the nigga could, it could have his been, lines weren't even matching up with the what he was ISS, It didn't need to be made at all. It made no sense. And it was just boring. This really didn't Whereas Madam Web, it's like it had potential. When I was redirecting it, I was like, this honestly could have you been something. You could find But to me, the, the worst that. thing they could have done is add those three women because you should have just had it be Dakota. And it wasn't you even two hours. Just, you should have just had it be Dakota. And then based off how this was perceived with just her focus. Focusing on her, her relationships, her mastering her power, things like that, and then her relationship with her mom, her figuring you were trying to cram too much in there and then trying to honestly upsell the woman that were in it as well. And the dialogue. There's no there's no need for that. Good God, the dialogue. If you thought if you remember what I said about Chat GPT writing ISSs, Chat GPT wrote this for sure. Because some of the lines, literally, she almost hits one of the kids and then she's and then and then the black kid, um, the black girl flips her off because she almost hit her with the damn ambulance. And then she literally just looks at her and she's like, oh, kids these days. It's like, <laughs> what? Like, Bo, it's lame. Like, it's la- it's la- Even the with great power comes great responsibility. So they tried to flip it being like, when you realize your responsibility, great power will come. Stop. Stop doing this shit. It's very lame. We could talk about this for days, but every time right. we get an S... We already know the movie gods. Yeah, the movie gods say, nigga, you ain't going to get more than one. You ain't even going to get an A. We gonna, you ain't even going to get a C. You're going to get straight up Fs. But these were terrible. Anything more we want to... Anything more we want to say about out, about these movies or, or in general? ISS definitely don't watch. Madam Do Web watch never it. spend money on it. Mr. and Mrs. Smith give it a try on the weekend. You know it's a nice binge. We implore worthy. you to spend a good. If you want a good weekend show to watch, watch it. Eight episodes. You'll be in and out of there pretty quickly, just, and you'll you'll really enjoy yeah. it. But um, yeah, this uh, ISS waste of time. Madam Web. Complete waste of potential. Complete. Because you could have had honestly three three of these. You could have had one with just her. Another one with the girls, and then one they of them together. To they were trying to build you, that franchise. So, Sony want that money. Sony want that. You could have. And now look you what you've done the, with Spider Woman movies. Bed. Look what you've done. Now you've done a Spider Woman movie. Now would you want to do an actual Spider Woman movie? Like maybe and you try it the again. Same thing. What was that mm. movie we watched where it was that Superwoman? Oh, it was Flash, right? When the Superwoman was in there. When Wonder Woman was randomly in there, no the Flash? Superwoman, no Superwoman, and she was like, "Oh the yes, that one. was the Flash." It's stupid, stupid. Wasted, you, you always throw in these like potential characters, and it's just a waste. Of, it's just a waste. Of time. You just, you just, you just, you just. I can't, I can't. Like I said, do not watch this. But we're mainly blaming Sony. We're not hating on women's movies because we have seen some good movies that have women as the superheroes in them. But if you think that, if you if you thought Morbius was bad, look. We didn't even see more yeah, of these. This Morbius. they saying I can see why they would say this makes that look like the Dark Knight. This if you want to feel good about shitty Marvel movies, go watch Madam 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 Web. Yeah. Go watch Madam Madame. Web, Madame. Go watch Madam Web, and it'll make you feel better about maybe the last Thor movie or maybe She Hulk if you didn't like that. Like there's been so many decently made superhero films that this came in, and you're like. Nah, bro, this is terrible. But um, as always, give us suggestions on things we would like to watch. We already have one movie that we're gonna. We got one in the bank. We got one in the bank. Um, Are we officially done with superhero movies, though? We have said this multiple times. Um, He has. He has. Um, I'm not doing Wonder. I'm honestly that Aquaman review ain't coming. By the way, there's we not ain't doing a Aquaman. lot of there's mm-hmm. not a lot of superhero movies I'm even keen on. I mean, we'll probably just stick with Spider Man. That's probably honestly it. that's it. There's only Spider Man. I mean, you may see I'm me do Deadpool. I'm not a fan of Thor. I'm not a fan of. Uh, he likes Deadpool. I don't. I don't. I don't like Deadpool. I don't like Ryan. You're racist. Um, so is your wife as well. Everyone praises y'all. Y'all are wow, racist. Wow, wow. The straps, um, the, the, the strays came out for that one. it's, uh, and then I don't, I don't like Thor's. I don't, I didn't never like the Iron and Man's, Blue but Beetle. I love Robert. Ooh, um, Madam Webb or Blue Beetle? Madam Webb. 
Wow. I'm always first of all, if Blue Beetle was too long, I'm Blue sorry. Beetle was too long. It was too Blue Beetle long. was too long. Um, but I watched Blue Beetle. In, I watched Blue Beetle. In terms Blade. of movie, Blue Beetle probably was the better movie. But I'm just gonna pick Woman because Woman. At least I had at least I had a montage of him becoming the thing. But yeah. But as always, we would like suggestions for you guys. We will be back next time with, well, we're not going to spoil anything, but we do have an animated film in the bank, so we are going to get back to doing maybe an animated film. We're, we're not we're not hunting for S's, and, we're just hoping it for... it includes someone that was in one of these movies. It does include someone that was already in one of these, so you'll get to see if that actor did better, you know, animated... You know, animated voice, voice or not, versus, voice acting, voice yeah. acting, because we know Maya can do it. We know, like we said, yeah. we know Maya can do it. You know, you know. So if you want something with an S, go check out Donald Glover. Go check, go check out Maya Skin. If you want to put on a boring movie to fall asleep to, put on ISS. If you want to put on a movie to prank your friends, um, put on Madam Web. And I mean, put on goat the last hour spot. goat vaccination spot. Yeah. With that being all, I think that's all we got for you guys today in terms of the report card. Let us know what you think of the background stuff. You know, we're trying Pretty something well. new with this. Took us a while to even get this set up. So, you know, we appreciate you guys for coming in and, and, and tuning in with us. We'll see you guys next time on the stream, all right? Anything last to say? No. All right.